The purpose of this video is to act as a guide on how to gain access to the web user interface on a device which is connected to a WAN interface on a Peplink router and is accessible through a control 2. In this example, I have a Netgear cellular gateway connected to a Peplink Balance 20X on the virtual WAN 1. Start by logging into in control 2. Select the appropriate organization and group of the Peplink router you want to access, then click on the name of that router from the group list. Find the WAN connection you want to reach and click on the details link to the right. In our example, we're selecting VLAN WAN 1. Make note of the default gateway IP address here. This is the address of the device connected to the WAN port. Now we're ready to configure the InTouch settings. Go to the top of the InControl 2 page and hover over Settings. Select InTouch from the drop-down menu. Once at the InTouch settings page, click Add. A window will pop up. Give your device a name to identify it. Select the drop-down for HTTP or HTTPS, depending on what your WAN device is using. Next, enter the default gateway IP address that you noted earlier in the host name slash IP on LAN field. Enter the default port for the web admin of your device. For example, if using HTTPS, it would be port 443. If using HTTP, this would be port 80. The next field is optional. You may put an additional path for which to reach the device's web interface. Put a check in the box if you wish to allow other users in the InControl2 organization or group to view or use this entry. When you're done, select OK. You will be taken back to the InTouch device list where you'll need to click Save Changes at the bottom. Go back to the Device Details tab at the top of the InControl2 page. You should now see a green InTouch button next to the device's name. Click this and you'll get a list of your InTouch device names. We'll go ahead and click on ours here just like that. It opens a new tab to the web user interface of our Netgear Gateway. We hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more videos like this.